Similarly, Thomas Berry and David Abram says, Berry says, world is a communion of subjects, not a collection of objects. So nothing is dead. Everything is alive in the world. That's Berry saying. That matches very well with Jen, your soul in all beings. Now, David Abram says, diversity of local forms. That matches with Jen, ideas of Jen, insistence of changing lifestyle, Mahavir for changing the minds, and trees are inherently valuable for beauty and strength, which Mahavir said, said uh, more than two millennia ago. Then Abram also says, rose of senses is also important, Indriyas. And that matches with empiricism in the first sutra by Uma Swati. Going very fast. Uh, then Srimad Rachandra, we have not discussed so far in this conference, but uh, Srimad Rachandra was, as we now know, that he inspired Gandhi to adopt many of the Jain principles. They corresponded to letters for six years while Gandhi was in South Africa and Gandhi meet, comes and meets Srimad Rachandra. Gandhi takes these ideas, truth and non-violence, simplicity, celibacy, self-reliance and austerity from Srimad Rachandra. And Gandhi's whole life today can be seen as an ecological treatise. His small means, means silence, shanti, non work walks, cultivation of the, of the small, spinning wheel, abhorrence of waste, all of these ideas can be mentioned as an inspiration from Jain principles that we learned from Srimad Rajan. Today, Gandhi's influence, of course, spreads across the world. Dr. Martin Luther King himself came to India and saw Gandhi's ashram in, in Mumbai and he took the those non violent principles to the US and then launched the civil rights movement. Uh, Nelson Mandela was heavily inspired by Mahatma Gandhi as well. So four M's, you can see this set of non-violence from Mahavir to Mahatma to Martin to Mandela. All four M's uh, are listed here. Uh, what are American Jains doing? I've been living in the US for 25 years, so there are some examples of Jain non-violence probably can be seen as nature-friendly or eco-friendly actions by Jains in US. So many temples in US have gone solar, so somewhere in Northern California, Jain Temple, Dallas, Texas, Franklin, New Jersey, and Jains in US are also supporting now cattle sanctuary, Goshala or Pinjir Poles that are very common across India, but also now in, in US. Jains are also active in promoting vegetarianism in, in such societies. And youth are turning to veganism. Youths are challenging Jain parents that vegetarianism is not enough to have to adopt now veganism. So that is also happening in the US. Uh, this, uh, this is just a summary of what I did in my third monograph where I traced the history of Jainism in the US. So when did the first Jain arrive in the US with Vivekananda, as you know, Richard Gandhi? And how many Jain temples and organizations have, taken, have been established in the US? Jain is an American university, which we saw by Sulek Jain's presentation. Jains are leading in diamond trade even in the US and healthcare and artistry. Now this is the just a brief glimpse from my forthcoming book in progress, and I'm seeking permission from Ganesh Bernie Sansthan because as we know, these eight saints are highly celebrated within Jain community. So four Digambar and four Shritambar Acharya are listed here. Uh, Acharya Shanti Sagar has been on a pioneer Pratma Acharya. Not even, if, not even their names are mentioned in modern Western academic literature. Shanti Sagar Ji names must, name must enter in Jain textbooks now being taught in the US. Uh, Acharya Vidyanand Ji's name must be mentioned in, in the Jain textbooks in the US. My humble attempt in that, at the, in that regard. Ariga Gyanmati Ji whom I could meet and get some get her, her blessings last year in Delhi. So I'm writing biographies of these eight saints, saints in my forthcoming monograph. And then in Shwetambar also I've taken four Acharya, Acharya Hastimalji, uh, who wrote the modern Jain history in four volumes. Acharya Rajendra Suri, who wrote uh, Rajendra Abhidhan Kosh, the first Jain encyclopedia about 100 years ago. Muni Purni Vijay, who created uh, Art, who, who compiled and edited the critical editions of many, many Jain scriptures, and Acharya Chandanaji, who is the first Jain female Acharya currently living in Bihar. So these are the, some of the saints I am tracing and I am writing in the for the world in English. Because our languages should reflect the changing time period of it. So Jains were first writing in Pakrit, then that was the comes in Sanskrit. Now, yesterday I think you mentioned that now Jain texts are available in Canada, or probably Jain Upadhyaya, sir. Professor Upadhyaya was mentioned. So now English is a global language, so Jain saints, Jain biographies, Jain principles must also appear in English. So that is my humble attempt, and that's it. Thank you. Very short Thank you. Thank you so much, Pankaj. I think after presentation, we will be able to get a little bit of 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 a
तो बात करें राणा पीवी सिंह कृपया आप भी स्टेज पर आ जाइए पंकज जी के साथ मानते हुए आइए सर